should I feel discouraged? And why must the shadows bring? Uh, his eye is on the sparrow, for I know he watches me. Uh, why should I feel discouraged? Because I, I got food stamps, I got EBT card. Why must the shadows come? Uh, because, of, you see, You don't have no reason to feel discouraged now, do you? You got every reason to be encouraged now, don't you? I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. Yeah, didn't we sing it? Don't we sing it? <laughs> boy, boy, this show, the showcase is still on. The showcase is still on. Welcome to the fastest 30 minutes in broadcast. Um, uh, I'm, I'm Prophet Johnson. Revelation chapter number 12, verse number 11. Verse number 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ. No, yeah, folks, it's time out for trying to explain the stupid stuff to people. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's time out. For the accuser of the brethren is cast down. You know, they used to say, you better pay your tithe and give your offering because if you don't, God going to take it one way or another or he going to let the devil steal it. Well, guess what? I wonder why the devil ain't stole all the rich people tithe and offering. We sit up and we believe God and took him at his word. I come that he might prosper and be in health even that our soul prosper. Give your seed. So do this and do that. And guess what? Nothing happened. That, do God really, really want you to be rich by giving your tithe in your offering? Hello? Is the truth you're looking for? Come on! Which one is it? Do God really want you to be rich by giving your tithe and offering? Answer the don't go question. Come on, stop shaking. I, I think he do. But I don't know. Well, I got another question. Are you rich from paying your tithe and offering right now? Yes, I am. How? I'm rich in grace. Ha. I'm rich in mercy. Ha. I'm rich in, in bills paid. Ha. No, no, no. Tell the truth and stop lying. Tell the truth stop lying. You want to be rich with money, don't you? I did, did, I did, 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 did. What? That, what? Tell the truth and stop lying. Now, he gives us all things richly to us. See, you are more wealthy than you will ever know. You are filled with the glory What you have, they going to wish they had. You don't know, and many of y'all don't know and don't have no idea what it means to be rich. 
Rich folks don't even know what it means to be rich. A lot of people don't know what it means to be rich. They don't know. Billionaires don't even know what it means to be rich. Tell it! Prophet Joseph, yes, I do. Why? Because he showed me. He placed it in me. See, I am the blessing. Y'all missed that one. You'll never get that again. You'll never hear that nowhere. You better write that down. You better put that in your signature series. Satan hated. That's coded. A lot of y'all lost already, and you will never find it again. Missed that one. <laughs> That's why I love you so much. That's why I love you. Yes, I do. That's why. I, Father, I'm trying. I know we're going to have to go. They don't, they don't see it because I know we love it. Yes, we love it. God, we, they making new cars. They, they got houses. We're getting ready for the future. We're going to the stars. We're tapping into the moon. And you know what else, Jesus? They, they start to let the people... It's slowly in on the secrets of them IFOs. They call them UFOs. And they, they're slowly letting them in on that. And, and I guess you and I, we done laugh so hard at the government and the world and the system until it's pitiful. Uh, there's no such thing as IFOs. All those creations been around forever. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lord. I can't tell them this stuff. They're going to think I'm crazy. People, there are millions of vehicles out there created that are extraterrestrial. Only thing, they got a few. They, they probably got a few a little wreck, little old Chevrolet, a little Ford that the little, little green man drove across the planet. They, they wrecked it when they got over here. They got to get them high-tech, you know, electric cars they, that they can charge up between space and here and there. They driving forward the Chevrolets while they're wrecking them on Earth. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, UFO. Here go, Jesus. I love you for this. And people, what make you and why are you so arrogant to think? I got the funny buddy on me today. What, what, you, you are so, y'all are so gone, the scientists, y'all are gone. Y'all are through. Y'all are ate up. Your Joe Sausage Head, Sue Sausage Head. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You're stanking up the whole stage, just like these celebrities and singers and rappers got their children up on stage dancing, stanking them up at 11 and 12 years old, 13 years old, stanking them up in the pool pit. The original pastor is going to always be the original pastor. You will never be like your daddy. You will never preach like your daddy. That done went on to be with the Lord, and you can take over the ministry all you want. You can have the name. You can have the power, the money. You can be a Christian celebrity, but you will never, ever be the original of what they was and who they are because you are not like them. Your daddy preached the gospel. He is up big time, fat billionaire, got all the money, movie stars everywhere. Here you is, 13 years old, 230 pounds, sitting up there talking about, I want to preach the gospel like my daddy. And you sitting up there at 230 pounds, eating a cheeseburger at 13 years old. No, the only thing you're going to preach is a hamburger, a cheeseburger, and the same plate that you're preaching on right now. That's all you're going to do is eat, drink, and get fat and you're going to live in the nice houses four five million that your parents going to buy you and you're going to be rich up on the earth and y'all going to eat and drink be merry because you got a name I understand all of that that's the good stuff for y'all <laughs> you are what they call rich Christians and let me tell you something your tele evangelist your uh, 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 your, 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 your hell of vision uh, leaders, 
They hate this. They hate this word. You got racist white preachers on television that hate this word. I have seen them. I have heard them. You understand? You got black people that have sold their soul and will continue to sell their soul to be in the persons of any Caucasian. White preachers, please hear me. You can save America. You can save the nation. Black people will follow you. Go to their churches. Become friends with them. They will give you their money because of the servitude of the slave mentality that is in them from Africa and beat down and hung in the trees and many are cowards and afraid. When you show up with the white man in uniform by force and snipers and those that are able to kill anybody anywhere, they are afraid of you, and we have always been afraid of you, and we fear you because you have been given the power of Satan by God to destroy any human being on the face of this earth. That's why you are, and many of you are above the law because you serve the God of this world world which is the evil one in his continuancy plan. You can rape the white man the way the president raped the nation before he got out of office. You, I'd rather you can rape the black man Okay, the same way the white man raped the nation. Am I telling it y'all? <laughs> Am I telling it? The same way the white man raped the nation before he got out of office raising the gas prices to $8 and $10. You can steal all you want from the black man. Y'all can take everything they got and we got. Why? Because you're doing it anyway. I'm just trying to show you how to get it easy. Get them through the church because they will serve y'all in the church, white people. Go to any black church. They'll serve y'all. Put on a suit and a tie. And just say, I got something to say at the end of the service. And watch how they face light up when they see y'all. Oh, come let us adore him. Cry, I the Lord. And up. Uh, Revelation chapter number 10, uh, chapter number 12 and verse number 10. Did y'all record that? Go play it back and watch the truth of God burn you. Hatred and racism. When you hear the white man preach against it, evil and murder, that's when you know that holy coming to you. You will never hear them preach against hatred, racism. Please send me their tape. Make it in a barn somewhere. That's why I tell it. I want to be. Not with me. <sighs> Where am I? If I read and read something here, here we go down to the weekend. I got to read real fast. Here we are, uh, Revelation chapter number 12, verse number 10. I got to get off of this because I don't want to stay here. And I heard a loud voice uh, saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of the brethren 
is cast down, which accuses them before God day and night. Stop wasting your time. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Don't even matter. Here it is. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Folks, they loved not their lives unto death. I'm not going to get on that, God, because I mess up the whole service if I do. I, I just, I just got to give them at least 10 seconds. People, please hear me. Man, find you a woman that loved God. Woman, find you a man that loved God. But Prophet Johnson, what's going to happen after that? <laughs> Woo! God time! Find you somebody! That love God, want God, and go respect you. Don't you go get no sex addict or no sex trap. Don't y'all make me talk to y'all. I'm trying to be nice. Okay? Prophet John, oh no. Oh no, ma'am. No, sir. You have to remember, they didn't want me. Mm -mm, no, don't they, them, don't nobody, they don't want, don't, they don't want me. That you better believe, not this brother. No, not this, no, uh-uh, no. I don't want you, you too nice. You, 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 you care too much, you, you give too much, you, just, just stop. You, why don't you be like the others? Slap me, hit me. Uh, curse me out. But do anything except treat me like a queen. Stop buying me all these gifts. Hit me in my nose. Beat me down. I want a dog. I don't want you. you I don't. I don't want you. I want a man that got something that's going to beat me. I want somebody that's going to make me scuffle. You understand? I want to go back to the projects. Get me out of this palace. I don't like living like a queen. Let me be the witcherized heifer in the bastard bastard that I was when I didn't have nothing. Let me go back to the vomit. Let me go back to the slop in the mud. Give me a sex dog. Oh, come let us adore him. Cry ice the Lord. The invitation, the Lamb's Supper, he prepared it, y'all. <laughs> yeah, boy, he prepared that inv invitation. He's getting that Lamb's Supper ready for us. Prophet Johnson, you're not going to read this again. Oh, yes, I am. Revelation chapter number 18. Uh, verse number 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. I can get, y'all excuse me for a minute, I'm trying to get my bearing. And the earth was lightened with his glory. The earth was what? Lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. No, just forget it, just forget it. It is become the habitation of devils. And, and there's no need for me to explain this Satan and demon knowledge. There's no need. I'm trying to show y'all the bride is getting ready. The church is getting ready in the hold of every foul spirit, every in, in, in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. We don't want to hear this. We don't want to hear this. For all nations have drunk. Listen to this have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the, and the kings of the earth have committed 
fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. But it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. The reason why it does not matter is because that's what you want. That's what we want. <laughs> Woo! That ain't what I want. Oh, yes, it is. Stop lying. Don't be up here lying. Stop lying. In the kings of the earth. Do you see it? Your gut, I don't have no time to explain none of this junk. No, not this being junk. That junk. Prophet John, no, I've been there, I've seen it. I know how Jer it's Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah, God, is this? <coughs> I know how, the, I know how those brothers felt. They was just like me. That's right, they was just like me. They failed, they messed up, they, they lied. They, was on Jesus. they had people, they were just like, they were a little different. Not now, Father. Not now because, you know, I am not crying. I am ugly when I cry. My nose snotty. My makeup fall off. And then on top of that, I have to get my nails done again. Got some oil on it working on it. Oh. No different from If you knew the power of love, that, that song that's don't need money, <laughs> don't need things, don't need no credit card to run this place. That's the power of love. Who is that Hero Lewis in the news? That's the power of love. <laughs> you know what I mean, boy? Boy, get down. I like the white boys more than music. I like country music, and I like white guys to sing country music. I really love country music. And country music just be telling the truth. Broken hearted, all that stuff, bawling, crying, and whining. They ain't talking about this. Oh, me. Father, forgive me. I'm a human. Here it is. And, and merchants of the earth are wax rich. You see, that's a, you got a name. Just think, of, just think. I don't want to call nobody a name out on TV. I'm sick of these people. I'm sick of all, I don't want to say nobody name. But my God, Boogaloo them, them got it made on TV. They, think about it, folks. Did y'all see? The woman that went over there to, to get her butt straightened out and to make her butt fatter, and, and she died. Then the other woman just shot because of her children, and, and they dead. No, you can't thuggerize it. You are, they're not discerning nothing. You, you little holy black women, you little holy mothers, come on, y'all. Stop lying to us. You celebrity basketball, football, champion, star mothers. Y'all ain't caring about and praying for nobody. Get what I'm about to say. But your own damned children. Why? Because they damned in the street. You can't tell them nothing. You see, except you got the money to keep them out of the street. That's all there is to it. Robbing and gang banging. Because that damned is the root word for damnation. And those that don't believe don't believe in Jesus is damned already. And, and don't be coming up in here with this damned word of yours telling me that damned lie about your damned self. You see, now, 
preacher, you can't say it because you can't say it. Remember. Let me finish this. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. And I heard another voice saying, a voice from heaven, because the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. No, 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 uh uh. No, 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 sir. No, sir. What does God say? Change your mindset. I come that you might have life. Oh, God, Lord Jesus, how can I help us today? I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit because I can't take no more of this. I come that you might have life. Well, Prophet Johnson, you just frustrating your own self. No, 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 no. No, see, I'm not them. I'm not y'all. See, this is virtue going out of me. I am hurting. See, 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 my fiber, my, my atoms, my, my mind, my flesh is being pulled. See, something is pulling this stuff, and it's, it's happening. You understand? I don't know what your preachers feel. I don't know what, God, I'm going to get in so much trouble. Why? I don't know what they feel. I don't know what they know. They don't know this because they're too busy begging for money. Now, listen. Holy Spirit, <laughs> I love you too. I know. In the peace of God, we're surpassing all and understanding. Yeah, the comfort and the peace that I give, the love. I know it. Will you just do that again? Hit me with it again one more time. Just, just a little bit. Father, thank you. There it goes. Can I just, y'all excuse me. Can I just receive this right now to help me? Yes. That's it. That's it. I come that you might have life. And have it more. Though he was rich, he became poor. That we through his poverty might be. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let me tell you something. And don't get mad at me. God wants you richer than the richest man on the face of this earth. Why do you think he gave the money to King Solomon? They say, oh, it's because you won't know what to do with it. They make all type of lying excuses. God, give me $2. The devil know. I'll burn this mug down with the glory of God. When he give me $2, y'all going to know it. You better believe, because I ain't stunned them church folks. You talking about be a kingdom? You talking about? You ain't. I'll show you how to build a kingdom. What you going to do with it? I'm going to do none job with it. What's none job? None of your business. That's exactly what I'm going to do with it. None job. Captain, I'm closing because of. Uh, because the Lord done, done, I'm just going to close and shut up. And we'll pick this up. And I, and I, I know I done messed up again. I, I know I done messed up again. But we're just going to close and mess up. With, oh, man. Lord, forgive me. I'm closing right here. Um, Revelation uh, chapter number 21. Verse number one in closing. And I saw a new heaven. <laughs> and a new earth. <laughs> For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city. We're going to climax this thing next week. This week, y'all, we're going to climax. The holy city, New Jerusalem, 
coming down from God out of heaven. There's a church in Milan called New Jerusalem. I think about that church every time I read, hear that word, New Jerusalem, and I pray for that church up there. Lord Jesus, the enemy ate it down to one grain of corn. He ate mine to just, just a little piece of corn meal. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. I don't have no time for this. I really don't. Because y'all don't want, y'all don't, uh, let, me, let me just recap. I'm closing in 15 seconds. Let me j just be churchified and religious with y'all and close this out, okay? And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from out of heaven, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared, prepared as a bride. Tell it! Adorn! For her husband! That's us! That's you and I! Be nice, 